Well hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for this episode 14 here on Silver Run with me, Farmer Murphy. Well, we're down here at the roller coaster as you can see. And we are down to what, uh, one liter of planks long, one liter of prefab walls. Uh, we need zero liters of chairs and zero liters of tables, interestingly enough. But I have those items loaded up here on the trailer. So I'm going to get those delivered. And then I'll meet you back up at the logging area. And we'll take a look at what's been going on up there. And that'll give some time for these to process. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, this is the first of the overdubs that you're going to hear about in just a few minutes. Um, I was up here just explaining that we had... Uh, filled the log container up also you're going to notice in the next few clips because there are some are a little bit out of order that the money and time stamps aren't going to line up that's just because i did re-record some segments that i could this was caused of course as you'll hear by issues i was having with my mic but anyways this segment was just showing that the container was full that i had logged off a considerable chunk in here uh, you can see i'm down to the river at uh one section there and I did have some uh, thoughts as to whether I would leave those few trees there uh, and block our field from the gas station but I had decided that we are going to clear cut that all off all the way down to the river and all of this area and then of course the same on the other side and we'll turn this all into field and uh, we'll just have that road uh, running through it but no big deal and from here we're going to go up and we're going to sell the wood now I, there was some dialogue that went on there i can't remember what all uh, was said but we're just going to cut to the wood sale so you can see that and then we'll carry on from there and uh, we'll, we'll get things sorted out one way or another okay so here we're just uh, highlighting that we sold the uh, container what was forty two thousand six hundred and thirty one dollars we got for that so now um yeah, at this point is where I went back down uh, to check on the roller coaster and so the next segment is you know going to simulate that but it uh, has been recorded out of order so that'll be coming up next so just ignore the timestamp uh, like I said we'll get it all straightened out here uh, sooner or later we'll get back on track talk to you soon well this is being recorded out of sequence um, I realized after recording a, a good chunk of this episode that there was an issue with my mic. So a number of segments I'm going to have to dub in the sound. Um, this segment though, however, I can re-record uh, because it's not affected by the game saves. So this is out of sequence. This, I'm recording this just after we did the sale of the uh, train where I originally recorded it, it was the second segment of the episode. So I'm going to try and reproduce it the best I can. Um, probably won't be perfect, but uh, here goes. So we came down here to have check on our roller coaster to find that the fencing's gone, all the construction materials are gone. And if we look in the bottom right hand corner, we can see the roller coaster is ready to ride. So we are done at last. Pretty exciting. So let's go for not our first ride on this bad boy. It's really too bad I missed that because, uh, you know, first reactions can never be repeated. But uh, there are going to be some pretty nice views from up here. That looks kind of odd looking off like that. We'll wait till we get to the top. At least on the first one, I missed this sign up here. So this is pretty cool. There's our farm off to the side there. But this is pretty much how I feel about roller coasters in real life. <laughs> wait, can we discuss this? <laughs> but it is a nice view from up here. And although it isn't farming, this is pretty cool. I have to admit. There is a pretty nice view. This will actually be the thumbnail, as it turns out. I 
but it would be a shame to voice over the original ride and we've missed all the sound effects of the roller coaster so that's that is pretty neat i have to admit so that's a pretty uh big accomplishment or big check off our list of things to do here on silver run the mayor and the town council's got to be pretty happy about that a big tourist attraction now i was trying to decide whether to expand the farm in arable or in adding the cows and i had noticed that there were two contracts for fields to be harvested and i that kind of prompted me you know what i decided i was going to do arable so if we look on the map here uh, uh one more i had purchased um field one and field two now as things turned out when i had checked the contracts um that was oh on the map about 7 30 ish something like that quarter after seven fairly early in the day when we came up here to ride the roller coaster i checked the time it was like uh about an hour later in game and i just went on and without even checking bought those two fields and during that time one of them had been harvested a son of a gun so we lost the sorghum harvest the canola is still there to be harvested but uh, i waited just a little bit too long and the ai did the harvest and that's exactly why i bought the fields was to get them before the ai did but wasn't fast enough so but we own those fields um and i did buy the soil maps for them because uh, when I was selling the products, I learned that the uh, with the first purchase of those fields, uh, we were getting a negative environmental score. So I just bought the soil maps because I didn't want to, uh, you know, run over fields that are ready to harvest. <laughs> As it turned out, I could have done one. But anyways, this episode is going to be a bit of a train wreck, I think. <laughs> but hey... Isn't that a fairly typical Farmer Murphy episode anyways? So there's the re-record of that. Like I said, I'll have to voice over the other segments because I had done a game save and couldn't go back and <laughs> undo the things that have been done to correct it. So I will leave you there and we'll jump back and we'll carry on from where we left off. I'm um, sorry about all this uh, confusion. Catch up with you in a bit. Well, there we go. Our first train load of products. These are just everything we had from in town and the extra uh, lumber that we had up here so we're going to sell this off and then i need to go and grab the metal and the carton rolls and that it just the train is uh full enough so we'll sell this off and see what we get for all of this now i did leave all the products up here that enough that we can do the next boat and there's a couple I left you might have saw the bowls and the pepper grinder sitting there they're actually got a better sell price in town so I didn't bother putting them on the train uh, now I I did purchase I did purchase uh, as I was saying the soil information um, for those fields just so we didn't get an environmental score penalty i found that we had that from uh, selling the pepper grinders that were sitting there um, and i've had some issues with my mic um, it's been cutting in and out so um yeah sorry about that so i'm gonna have to dub some of this episode in so that ought to be fun um, anyways 173 grand for that and now i need to go and grab the uh, paper rolls in the metal what I am going to do is uh, these planks uh, planks or uh, wood beams and planks I should say uh, need to go to the boat so I'm going to take them down so they're there so we don't inadvertently sell them so I'll do that and I'm going to have uh, another train load of metal and stuff going so I'll catch up with you then well this train wreck of an episode continues with more train work I've loaded up the cardboard and paper and metal that we had available this strap there i see so we'll send this off and we will see what we get for this mm -hmm. 
Now this might be the last train sale of this type of products. We'll see, I may do one more, but I'm getting close to the point where I'm thinking of putting the productions onto selling. I know it will take a bit of a hit, but uh, you know, it's getting close to the point, I think, where we can probably afford that. Wow, that was a little better than I thought we'd do. Well, but we'll take it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Mikey handed in another sculpture. Um, so we got another 50 grand from that as well. So let's head down to the store and we're going to spend some of this money. So I'll catch up with you there. Well, just like that, $600,000 melted away. Um, so what did I spend it on? I decided to go ahead and do that uh, off camera and just show you the results so we can get on to doing some real farming before the episode runs out. So I put us in a silo here. It's not a multi-food or anything. It's just a 500,000 liter silo. And if I can't imagine that won't be enough, but if, uh, if it isn't, there's a matching extension we can use. So that will do for that. And I just stuck it in beside our bale storage there. Cause I thought that would be a good place and it doesn't interfere with my plans regarding the cows later on. Now I bought us a harvester and a header. It's a bit older harvester. It's a 2012 model John Deere. It has a 10,000 liter hopper. So the harvester, the header, and the header trailer cost just under 300,000. And uh, my thinking is we won't need to upgrade that harvester. Uh, it'll do us for all of our farming. So it was a pretty good balance between uh, you know, money and uh, capacity and all that for what we had available. And I bought a truck just for the farm. I know this was a bit of an extravagance, but uh, I bought us a, a brand new Volvo, seeing as uh, we're on the you know, Platinum DLC map and the Volvos came out with it. I thought we should have at least one Volvo truck and a trailer. And I decided to do this because I didn't want to have to keep uh, bouncing back and forth between trucks like from our logging area coming down to do this so we have a truck we can dedicate to uh, a farm use so i'm going to get these to our field uh, i should have been two fields but as i explained earlier uh by they were both available for harvest but by the time i bought them the ai had done one and it had only been in real life you know not even a half an hour but in game and about an hour had passed and they had done it the dirty dogs so but we're set up for harvesting now anyways and uh, we'll get those fields all prepped and you know I was thinking um, after I get this field off I'm gonna go um, do a bunch of off-camera logging and see if I can get that other field area ready and we might put in one field of cotton here we'd have to wait till spring And we'd just lease a harvester to harvest it. But we could use that cotton to put into our uh, spinnery. And we'd get fabric a little bit faster. Because the uh, boat is constantly waiting for fabric. And I did bring down uh, all of the products. So there's just about everything we need in there for the next, uh, next boat. Once we get the fabric. And I did decide to put the metal and the uh, cardboard and uh, paper rolls onto selling. Those ones are the biggest nuisance to load. And uh, the other ones aren't so bad. So um, I'll maybe do another train load of those. But we'll get the... Uh, those ones are on selling. So that means we'll have money trickling in uh, constantly, which... Uh, will help us out. I'm not sure where to, where to set this. You know what, I'm going to take it around the other side of the boat production and I can leave the trailer sit there. So I'll get this set up and I'll, I'll bring it back in. Well, it turns out there was a little grassy area here at the end of the field that we could use to set up. 
we own that and I think what we'll do is we'll extend that field into that area a little bit but we will leave some um, for dropping off the header like that this is the other field here just to our uh, left this had Sogram in it but uh, it got uh, harvested on us unfortunately all right well we can get harvesting here and uh, once we get the harvest done we'll uh, bring our truck down throw it in our silo and we'll sell it at uh, peak time which will be later this winter I imagine I figure this will be a pretty good size harvester for us we don't need anything really huge um, we'll have these two fields and uh, then probably where we're logging will be a crop field and uh, once we get the hay field across the way maybe we'll turn one of the fields over here into another additional crop field but that'll be about it and none of them are going to be super huge And they're all fairly flat, so this harvester is about 380 horsepower, I think it is. So it should do the job. I do have plan on getting a little bit larger tractor, and then we'll get a uh, uh, auger wagon, and uh, so we won't be bringing the truck on the field. As it is, we won't bring the truck on the field either. We'll just run the the uh, harvester up to it. It's a uh, nine meter header that we're using, so. Should, should take the crop off fairly quickly, I would think. I'd like to finish off uh, before we're, we're done here is take and sell a load of logs on the train, fill up those two train cars. Maybe we'll do that as the last thing we do on here. So we'll need some uh, big loading equipment to, to get those train cars loaded I would assume. Oh look, our money's gone up from 12000 to 36000 already just by putting the metal and the cardboard paper rolls on selling. Every once in a while I'll have to go and throw the uh, metal one onto distributing because the barrel factory needs uh, metal. And of course we'll need to save up uh, a couple rolls for the next uh, boat after this one. So what we have left to complete on the map is to get the last few productions. There's two of them, I think, if I remember correctly. So we need to get those and get them up and running. And uh, I want to get cattle in and get a dairy in and get that running. Oh, wow, well, half full and we didn't even make one complete round. So I'm not getting 
too bad a yield, I don't think. Although it's in the orange still. Hopefully we can improve on that. Well, I shall carry on with this, um, get the harvester loaded up, and I'll bring you back in when we're ready to unload it uh, with our new truck. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, we're here to pick up our truck. Actually, I guess we can go this way. Until we get the uh, auger cart, we'll just uh, set this on the edge of the field on that track and we'll just bring the harvester over to it. That will do there. Oh, didn't <laughs> guess the engine was already running. Probably will have to use both hoppers, but just in case. Should be more than enough room in our truck, I would think, for all of this. Oh yeah, definitely. Because our truck will hold uh, about five harvester fulls. So. certainly won't fill up five more times I can't imagine well there I shall carry on and I'll bring you back in when I get this field done and we'll see how much we got see you then well there we go just over just barely over 30,000 liters. So let's take this and dump it in our new silo. And uh, we'll sell it um, 
at peak price. It'd be sometime in the fall or winter. I didn't look, but typically it's around there. Look like our grass is ready there. I'll have to go out and check that. Just noticed it as we were driving by. Be another farming job to add to the this month. Show for the train here. Don't want to scratch up our truck on the first outing by having it hit by a train. Oh, cool I didn't notice that before the uh, roller coaster is all lit up well I was going to end the episode there but maybe what I'll do is I'll just wait till it gets full dark and we'll end it uh, looking at the roller coaster light so I'll catch up with you at dark in the meantime um, I'll probably do a little logging up there till it gets dark so catch up to you in a bit well, look at that. Isn't that cool? I'd never seen that before. Didn't realize it lit up like that. So what I'm going to do is for tomorrow in game, I am going to do as much logging as I possibly can. I want to get our money up because I definitely want to upgrade uh, some of our grass equipment because we are, did confirm our field is ready. So we, I want to silage that. And I um, also want to upgrade our cedar. So, and yeah. it serves a purpose too. Like I said, I want to get that field. If I can get it prepped up there in time, uh, we can get it planted uh, this fall. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit on the other two fields in the hopes that I can do uh, all of our fields at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do. And we are going to end the episode here, and I'm actually going to sign off, but stick around because then I'm going to run across, and we're going to go for a nighttime ride, but I'm not going to kibitz at all. So hopefully oh, one segment will work out perfectly in this uh, kind of a challenging episode I've had. So if you're still with me, really appreciate you watching. If you found this entertaining or informative anyway, I encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, if you want to know when other content like this lands, hit that old notification bell. But 
for this episode. It's going to be Farmer Murphy signing off with a nighttime roller coaster ride. Catch up with you next episode.